Well, like I said, that was sufficiently epic for a game called Emergency 2012. Um, this is a sort of strategy simulation game um, where you keep control of the emergency services and save people's lives. Um, I'm pretty sure this game is the same game that's been, been released for the last sort of five or six years called Emergency. Um, I briefly played Emergency 2, I think, on the PC. I think it's also coming out on the DS now, but it's a fairly old game. Um, the uh, original titles always had a problem with uh, the interface, which has always been rubbish. Um, absolutely horrible interface. So perhaps uh, 2012 can fix some of that. Uh, so let's just go through, uh, better check for updates, I'm pretty sure this is up to date there, there's been one patch, so we're running on version 1.1, and nope, it's up to date, uh, but, but, but. got some completely locked achievements, um, uh, we've got free play and campaign mode, and I'll be going through uh, campaign mode, seeing how that works out, uh, taking a look at the options, we've got uh, scroll screen tutorial tool tips which will keep on uh, your typical graphic options I don't know why there is a screen resolution and then a resolution I think it's textures okay that's detail not resolution I don't know why it's called resolution uh, lights shadows post processing visual effects and an on off anti alias so you can't really choose what's going on there brightness slider oh Put that back. Um, multiplayer, I don't know how that's going to work out, but I'm probably not going to go for um multiplayer emergency game. I'm, I'm not really sure that'll be my thing. Uh, the, the, the back to options, sorry. Sound. Uh, typical sound options. And <laughs> you can apparently change what. Um, the names are for your different emergency vehicles, but we'll leave that as default, I think. And give the campaign a Incident go. Incident Commander Tutorial. Here you get advice on your emergency team's operation and function. I have a feeling this is a German game, to be honest. Um, what with it starting in Germany and all, it, it feels very European. Hi, welcome to the Incident Commander Tutorial, here at the Center of <laughs> International guy. Disaster Control Training. I'm your supervisor for now and during your future operations. If you'd like to take part in this tutorial, please click on Start Tutorial. If you want to cancel the tutorial and would like to start with your first operation unit, please click on Skip Tutorial. It's your choice. Uh, I have no idea how to play, so... Okay, basics first. Just a moment. We'll start in a few seconds. Subtitles on the game audio are different, which is a little confusing. During each operation you're in charge of, there are several tasks to be completed. You can see your current tasks in your task list. Task list. In order to keep track of the operational area, you should now get used to the camera control. Move your cursor towards one side of the screen to direct your camera to this part of the well, operation. That's quite slow. <laughs> we need to change that option. Can we do that now? Nope. You can also. Oh, maybe we can. No, we can't. So pan your camera by holding the middle mouse button and moving the cursor to the left or to the right. Scroll up and down to zoom in or out of the operational area. Try it out. When not we pan anymore? We are now going to the fire training room. As you can see, there are other rescue teams performing an emergency training too. What is that dog doing? I love the animation.
Your rescue vehicles take your personnel to the operational area automatically. Look, a heavy rescue vehicle is just arriving. We'll need it on the fire training ground. Let the firefighters get out of the heavy rescue vehicle. Click on the heavy rescue vehicle with your left yeah. mouse button and click right again to get the rescue team off. What's up? Understood. Attention. A fire is simulated at one of the training buildings. Look. Okay. You have to provide a firefighter with a hose to be able to extinguish the fire. Select yeah. the firefighter by left clicking. Good. Now look at the firefighter's control menu at the bottom of the screen. Understood. There it says, provide with hose. Click, and your selected firefighter will get a hose from the heavy rescue vehicle on his own. If you wait a few seconds, all objects which could be extinguished or cooled down by the firefighter will be marked automatically. You can also hold the space bar at any time to see the marks. Okay, now the firefighter can extinguish the fire. Just click right on the burning building. The firefighter Understood. automatically looks for a hydrant and starts extinguishing. Hint, it's important that you not only extinguish the fires, but also cool down objects that could catch fire to avoid fires from spreading. Provide another firefighter with a hose. What's up? On our way. Okay. Press the spacebar or wait a second to see all objects that could be cooled down. Now, click right on the building which isn't burning. The firefighter will cool it down. Starting Though the work. building is still not completely safe, the danger isn't that high anymore. Well done. Go on to the accident training. Here, we practice how to treat the casualties. It's a completely unnecessary camera movement. It's simulated that an accident happened after the road got destroyed. However, we won't concentrate on the surroundings, but on the rescuing of casualties. An emergency doctor and paramedics already arrived with the air ambulance. Select the helicopter to land it. Now, yeah. click right on the marks on the ground to land the helicopter. Okay, over and out. Very good. Now, the emergency doctor and the paramedics can get off. Consider it done. There's a dummy in one of the damaged vehicles simulating a casualty. He is wounded and can't get out on his own. The vehicle has to be cut open. So equip a firefighter with the jaws of life. Yeah? Consider it done. So far, so good. Now, the firefighter can cut open the vehicle. Okay. The vehicle you can cut open is marked automatically if you wait a few seconds or press the spacebar. Cut open the vehicle. Good. Let a firefighter bring the casualty to safety. Check your task list. I'm not sure what this task list is. Whoa, it's not right. So groups. Here we go. What's up? We'll be done immediately! Let the firefighter pull the casualty to the mark on the ground. On our way! Wouldn't you rather be on this stretcher? Never mind, I'll put him in the car park. The casualty has to be treated by an emergency doctor as fast as possible. Otherwise, he What's will up? die. Select Let's an go. emergency doctor and treat the casualty. Check the casualty's life bar at the bottom of the screen. The life bar is red and not completely filled. The casualty is severely injured and not transportable. While the emergency doctor treats him, his life bar will fill up again. You can take the casualty to hospital when a small ambulance symbol appears. The casualty is transportable now and should be taken to hospital as fast as possible. This will be done by the paramedics. Yeah, Let's go. I'm on it!
Take the casualty to the air ambulance. On my way! The helicopter will take off automatically and take the casualty to hospital where he can Fish receive me. further treatment. In a real operation, the air ambulance would return automatically to the operational area as soon as the casualty was taken to hospital. In the helicopter, the paramedics stabilize the casualty during the flight and are brought back to the operational area afterwards. The same applies for all emergency vehicles and personnel that took casualties and objects from the operational area. They return automatically. Excellent. You completed the tutorial successfully. You are well prepared for your first operation. I'll be back in a second with further details. I love the lip syncing here too. Good luck. I don't think this guy's talking do English. It. I'm not entirely certain that the uh, air ambulance would be used for a training mission. Surely it would be busy.